Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I want to just walk you through my process of reviewing and providing comments on a exhibit that we put together for a lot line adjustment. Uh, it's a project we're working on at Tracy, and uh, the drafter on this, uh, my nephew, did a really good job. That was a challenging assignment because City of Tracy wants this on an 8.5 by 11 sheet, and there's a lot of information to pack onto this thing, uh, but he did a good job. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of walk you through this process so you can uh, see the kind of things that I catch uh, in a review of a work product like this. And, you know, I'm hoping, hoping that'll help. I got some young drafters that are that are honing their skills. Um, I've got some old drafters that are honing their skills, too. And so I thought this, this video would just kind of help people develop the eye for the kind of things that I'm looking for. So... Uh, Unfortunately, I, I recorded myself reviewing this sheet uh, when it was on the other screen. So I did this first sheet, but let me just walk you through what I marked up here. And I, I'm in Nitro PDF. That's the PDF uh, software that I like to use for review. Um, I like it better than Bluebeam or, or even Adobe Pro. So we've got a couple property corner monuments here. This is just a layer visibility thing. Uh, he needs to remove those. They don't need to be on in this viewport. They're not labeled. Um, uh, the other thing is uh, I want to just move the North Arrow scale bar, scale bar either all the way on or all the way off. The uh, the image here just looks weird, kind of straddling the background imagery there. And then we got some extra text here that we don't need. Uh, these are our proposed parcels, so they're not going to have a map reference. We can take those off. Um, other than that, he did a good job on this cover sheet, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, so that's the first sheet. So let's uh, let's take a look at the second sheet. So what we're showing here uh, is this this is the existing boundary, and uh, I really hate this abbreviation. <laughs> so I'm gonna say spell out smaller text height if needed, uh, just because I really hate that. Um, so that's, that's all we got to do on that one. Okay, so this looks good down here. So what are we showing here? This is the existing boundary. Uh, nothing's jumping out at me here. This all looks good. He's got this fancy little PL. I don't love that, but I'm not going to make him change it. Um. See here, he's calling out the map, and that's okay because these are the existing parcels. This looks good. He's he's this guy's my best drafter. He did a really good job. He's got a young lady that's catching up to him, but uh, he's he's definitely the best drafter in the building. I think so. Man, that's the only comment I have on this whole sheet. Uh, good job, nephew. Yeah. All right. So uh, that sheet looks good. So let's uh, let's grab his uh, second sheet. So this is the second sheet on the existing boundary. Uh, this also looks really good. He just did a good job. This is nice and clean. Uh, I don't see anything. No text overwrites here. Um, yeah, I wish he would have given me a match line. Let's see. I don't think we did that on the cover sheet. Yeah, we didn't do that on the cover sheet. It'd be nice to have a match line on here. Uh, so maybe we'll add that. Uh, let's just, I'm going to give him the same comment here. I just want him to uh, move north arrow and scale bar all the way onto background onto the background image. And I'm just being really nitpicky here because this guy does such a good job. Okay, so I'll pull that up. Oh, let's see how many of those I can get on here. Geez. All right, and then I'm gonna just move this up oh man if I don't stop doing that I'm gonna freaking kill myself all right so we're gonna say add a simple match line and I'm gonna put a question mark here so he doesn't get mad at me <laughs> maybe I told him not to I don't remember uh, we're gonna do that same thing over here uh, we'll just say, hey, do we need a match line here? All right. 
So those both look both look good. He did a really nice job on here. Um, so that's nice. It makes the review process a lot better. All right, let's rattle through these other sheets. So this is just shows the existing easements, and I told him label the existing easements, but he doesn't have to uh, label all the all the uh, bearings and distances. And so uh, he did a good job here. I'm not in love with the line types here. Um, so I'm going to just leave him a note and say, uh, say uh, easement uh, line type should be three times as thick as the fee parcel boundaries. on this sheet and the next sheet also make easement boundaries plot over fee parcel boundaries where applicable that's kind of a long note but uh, what I'm talking about is uh, here where the easement goes over the line I'd like that to be to be black. You, should, you know, you should be able to look at this sheet and immediately pick out the uh, the PUEs. And it, it's a little hard to do that. So we got one here. Uh, there's one here. And uh, uh, there's some existing overhead and uh, underground utility easements here. Uh, other than that, the sheet looks great. He did a good job. Sheet title looks good. Again, I hate the abbreviation. And I know I told him that was okay. Now I'm changing my mind. So this is why he gets irritated with me, but he'll just have to cover it over because I'm his uncle and he loves me. <laughs> All right, so he did a good job on that. So again, on this sheet, those easements should jump right out, and it's a little hard to see that. Um, so we're going to have the same problem with this next sheet, but I'm not going to redline it twice. Uh, we'll just look for any other problems. Um, I don't see any other than that. It would be cool if he would move this all the way on the ortho image and get rid of that abbreviation. Oh man, now I made two of them. Nope, I didn't. So we're going to say move north arrow and scale bar all the way onto the background image. All right. Okay. So those sheet sheets look good. Okay. Got a couple more here. This is, shows the uh, existing utilities. All right. Um, so he did a good job on here, but what I what I really need is the utility lines, and I'm not sure what these yellow things are. So I'm just gonna put a basic note on here for that. Nope, not that kind of note. Uh, markup text, nope. Text box is what I want. Oh, there's my call out too. Let's say, why do we have yellow, line, yellow boxes everywhere? What is really important on this sheet are the utility lines. Okay, so we'll talk to him about that. Everything else looks good here. Okay, so I'm gonna have the same basic comment on this sheet. I'm not gonna repeat it. You know, uh, we need to eliminate overlapping symbols. That might be a typical comment we could put on here. Eliminate overlapping symbols. I'm going to just put typical. Okay. All right. Let's close a few of these.
Well, this is going to be kind of a boring video because uh, my drafter did a really good job. So there's not a lot to mark up here. Okay, so this is the proposed boundary. Um, and uh, he, did a, he did a really good job here. Um, I don't need to show this proposed encroachment. That's something that we'll deal with, uh, that we're going to have to deal with on the city, but it doesn't need to be on this uh, proposed boundary sheet. So I'm going to tell him to get rid of that. Uh, remove encroachment. Hatch and label. So we're going to deal with that, but I don't need to deal with it here. And I th again, I think this just got copied over from another sheet, so from another drawing. <clears throat> Same thing here. Uh, he's saying we don't know who owns this in fee. Uh, it really doesn't matter uh, for what we're trying to do. Uh, and it can get addressed separately. It shouldn't get shown on this sheet. That's just something that's coming over with the boundary sheet. So I'm going to say remove <clears throat> patch and label for this strip. So this isn't anything he did wrong. Um, that's just information that needs to go somewhere else and not on this particular sheet. Trying to sell. There we go. Um, everything else on here looks good. He doesn't have any overrides. Oh, we got that little stray property corner monument there. So let's call that out. Uh, remove property corner monument point. Ah. I hate that I do that. That's so irritating. All right. Okay. So other than that, this is a great looking sheet. And got that abbreviation again. He'll he'll remember to change that because he's a good drafter. So I like that. Okay. And uh, man, I think we're almost done. He'll know to apply those typical comments, so I don't got to worry about this. That looks good. We've got the proposed easement on here. And I'm a little worried it's falling a little short here. So let's, uh, let's label this. And we're going to say, why do we have a gap? Easement should run, should extend the property line. So that's probably just a line work thing. So that needs to go all the way over. Whoop. Uh, that needs to go all the way over like this one does. These lines come all the way into the property line. I shouldn't have this gap right here. And um, whoop. he's got a proposed easement sheet set up, but I don't think we need one because it looks to me like... Uh, The only place that we're going to have uh, proposed easements is here. So I think we can get everything on here. He's got this line on here because I had it in the proposed boundary sheet, but we're not going to do three parcels. So again, this isn't anything he did wrong. He's just grabbing the line work from the source drawing and I didn't have it, uh, I didn't have it in perfect condition before he started this exhibit. So. Got to get rid of this line. Yep, I would like him to move that all the way on the ortho image. Uh, he's going to get irritated me. At, yeah, you know, I could live without it. We'll see if he moves it or not. He can get rid of this abbreviation. Uh, otherwise, I think this looks good. So he did, he did a really good job. Uh, let's go look at that proposed easement sheet real quick. And then I'll, I'll wrap this video up because I know I'm long, longer than I like to be. So yeah, we're already showing this on those other sheets, so we don't really need it here. So uh, I'll have them get rid of these two sheets. So man, guy did a good job. So that's kind of the process I go uh, that I go through when uh, when I'm marking up a survey work product. And uh, I'll do I'll do something that's uh, a little messier. We'll do another video just to give you guys an example. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate. It.